Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see a problem on section of a square pyramid. Initially, I will be explaining the question, then I will tell how to write a given data, then we will move on for solving the problem step by step. Just follow all the instructions, whatever I say, so that it will be very easy for you to complete the diagram and get full 20 marks. So, this sum comes under unit 4, section of solid. I think so, 12 problems we would have uploaded previously. If you haven't watched, means kindly have a glance of all those problems. And uh, one or two problems only pending, so I will try to upload as early as possible. So, what they gave is, your square pyramid of base side 40 mm. So, square pyramid means the type of solid is square pyramid. So, base diagram will be a square. So, square can be drawn in this way. See, you can draw square either like this as well as like this. So, one and two types of square is there. So, it is somewhat likely inclined. So, normally two types of square we can draw one and two. So, we have to identify which type of square we just going to make it up. So, what I gave us uh, side of the square is 40. So, all the sides are 40 and axis is 65 mm. So, height of the uh, axis is 55 mm. So, 65 mm height. Rest width is based on HP. So, resting will be on HP. A cutting plane inclined to HP. Perpendicular VP cuts the pyramid in such a way that. So, inclined to HP means the cutting plane will be made here. Inclined to HP means you will be drawing cutting plane here. If inclined to VP, you will be drawing in top view. Inclined to HP means in, we will be drawing the cutting plane in front view. Inclined to VP means we will be drawing the cutting plane in top view. So, in this case, we just going to draw the cutting plane in front view only. And uh, cuts the pyramid in such a way that true shape of this section will be trapezium. So, what is the true shape which we are going to get? It is a trapezium of parallel sides. So, online this word parallel sides measuring 30 and 20. Since we are having parallel sides, see the trapezium which you are going to get here will be sorry. True shape of the section will be a trapezium and they have given the two sides of the uh, trapezium that is one will be 30 and 20 both are parallel okay keep that in your mind draw the section at top view and true shape of the section and find the inclination of the cutting plane angle so cutting plane they haven't given the angle at all we have to identify it so this is a special type of problem how we going to approach this we will be going with the square one the reason for going square one only reason is see uh, we want trapezium so if we make if we use this type of square only, we will be getting trapezium. Reason is parallel sides. Okay. Here they are having parallel sides, but here the sides are inclined. So we won't go with this one. We will go with this one. So we will be choosing this one. And uh, they clearly mentioned that the uh, base diagram will be or resting will be on HP. So we are going to draw the base diagram on HP. First step is draw a reference line and mark X, Y, VP, HP. Second step is we are going to draw this type of square. So all the sides of the square will be 40. So 40, 40, 40, 40. The next step is naming it as A, B, C, D. Since it is a square pyramid, we will be having only 4 namings. If we have square pressure means we will be having 8 namings. And the center or axis will be O point. Okay. Just connect A and C and uh, B and D so that you will be getting the center point as O. And dimensioning, this is the extension line to H pencil. Dimension and H pencil, 40 and arrowhead should be marked with HB pencil. Okay, writing the alphabet now you can use HB pencil. So right now we have drawn the top view of the square pyramid. So by extending the top view, we can get the front view of the square pyramid. By just extending the all the top view points C. Keep your scale vertically here with uh, A as reference vertically so that you can get this point. Keep your scale vertically at D so that you can get this point. Keep your scale vertically at O so that you can get the axis point. This is axis line. It should be drawn like long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash, long dash, short dash. So it should be a continuous thin chain and uh, it should be drawn with your uh, H pencil. Okay, you can use uh, H pencil. And uh, naming I will be just telling. When you look from here, you can see B but you can't see A. So B dash bracket A dash. You can see C but you can't see D. So C dash bracket D dash. It's O means O dash. So right now we have completed everything. And uh, one more thing is uh, we, we have marked the points right. From here O dash is 65 mm. The reason is 
height is 65 mm see axis height is 65 mm means so from this midpoint from this middle middle line uh, for 65 mm draw a uh, axis line okay you just keep a dot so between that you just draw the axis line and keep that point as o dash just to join o dash with this point o dash with this point naming i just now say b you can see a you can see so b dash a dash c you can see d you can see so c dash d dash so here no naming will be coming only we will be writing o dash so dimensioning is uh, this is extension line 2 h pencil these two are dimensioning line h pencil 65 and arrow should be written with, i mean drawn with your hp pencil so right now we have completed the front view and top view uh, regarding the cutting plane what hint they gave is the true shape will be trapezium so using that hint we will be proceeding the next step is we can't directly go for drawing the cutting cutting plane but instead of we will be going in the reverse way the reason is the true shape will be a trapezium and measuring 30 and 20 mm uh, parallelly see here from this side so this is 40 means uh, take leave, leave 10 mm okay okay 20 we need here so leave 10 here leave 10 here so automatically you will be, be having 20 so from here okay from here you just leave 10 mm you keep a point from here from here you leave 10 mm keep a point okay so you will be marked you are getting two points right just draw keep your scale and try to uh, draw a no, no need to draw horizontal line keep your scale in horizontal way in such a way that it has to touch o a c so this is 40 and this distance should be 20 that is that's what i want okay keep this in your mind this length of the length between 1 and 2 should be 20 means if you leave 10 here 10 here means you keep a point Keep your scale vertically in such a way that it should touch this point. Mark that point as 1. Similarly, you will be getting a point here, right? Keep your scale vertically in this manner so that it will be touching OB at one point. That point is called 2. So, if you measure this uh, length between 1 and 2 means you will be having only 20. Next is 30. So, here what you can do? Leave 5 mm at top and leave 5 mm at top. And uh, you will be getting a point here, you will be getting a point here. Keep your scale horizontally like this manner and uh, when uh, the scale will be cutting od at one point that point is called as 4 if you keep scale vertically like uh, sorry horizontally like this it will be cutting oc at one point that point is called as 3 now if you measure 3 and 4 if you measure 3 and 4 you will be getting 30 mm so that's what i mentioned see here 30 and 20 you can also do it in the reverse manner so you can keep 30 here and 20 here depending on that we will be getting a true shape okay nothing wrong it's not it's not mandated that you have to keep 20 here and 30 there and all because we haven't mentioned anything it's our own wish i have just kept 20 here and 30 there 40 means it's, it will be very easy for you to understand and explain easily okay so keep the one and two distance is 20 and three and four distance is 30 now just to join one two 3, 4. Okay. Now just to join everything so that you can get a trapezium shape. Okay. It will be like what? It won't be like an exact square. So just connect all the points and do hatching. Hatching you know very well. It's 45 degree and it should be equal spacing. Dimensioning whatever I explained here. Extension 2H. Dimensioning H. And uh, arrow here and uh, numerical or number should be HP. Same thing here also. You dimension 30 on right hand side and 20 on left hand side. It should look very very neat and precise and uh, i have drawn uh, without any dimension so there will be somewhat deviation don't believe what i uh, don't refer or don't stick on to whatever i drawn here follow the procedure whatever diagram you are getting that is only correct okay so there will be slight variation no need to worry about it but try to follow the instruction so as of now we have got the sectional top view we have got sectional top view using this sectional top view only we just going to draw the cutting plane so we will be going the reverse manner for tracing the cutting plane as well as true shape of the section so try to extend for how we got the cutting plane is uh, you got one and two right keep your scale vertically like this keep your scale vertically in this manner so that uh, it will be touching o dash b dash on one point mark that point keep your scale vertically for four and three like this keep your scale vertically means you will be cut it will be cutting o dash c dash on one just mark that point so here we will be having two cutting point here we will be having two cutting point the reason is one dash is for, one dash is for o dash b dash see how i am naming one dash two dash reverse 3 dash 4 dash 1 dash is for o dash b dash 4 dash is for o dash a dash 2 dash is for o dash c dash 3 dash is for o dash and d dash like this only we will be naming so you will be getting 4 cutting points 
now we draw the cutting plane and cutting points now we just going to draw another reference line and we will be tracing the sectional top view in order to obtain the true shape of the section so next step is here you have drawn the cutting plane right so you have to draw a another line parallel to the cutting plane see if you are having cutting plane here means try to keep your scale and drag in drag parallel in such a way that you have to draw another reference line this reference line should be drawn away from the front view as well as top view distance or not doesn't matter and length is also doesn't matter it should be away from it next thing is you have got the cutting points right so that is 1 dash 4 dash 2 dash 3 dash extend all the points perpendicular like this if you are having cutting point here here means try to keep your scale in 90 degree and draw a extension line try to keep your uh, scale in 2 dash and try to draw a extension line 90 degree perpendicularly passing to the new reference line that is x1 and y1 to some extent then what you have to do is you have to keep your compass here you have to keep your compass here measure from here to 1 so whatever distance here are we try to cut an arc measure keep your compass at the reference line and measure till reference line to 2 for same so 1 to uh, you just I have made one mistake here I will just correct it up so how much ever distance you are having from here to 2 for same distance you have to keep here and try to cut an arc so that you will be getting 1 1 and 2 1 if you keep your compass here and measure till 4, how much of your distance you are having, the same distance you will be having here. Cut an arc. Keep your compass here and try to measure from reference line to 3. So for same distance you will be getting another uh, point called 3, 1. So as of now we have got 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1. Just join all the points. So you will be getting a trapezium shape and uh, try to hatch it up. So hatching I haven't done with 45 degree angle. So hatching should be like this. So mistakenly I have drawn like this. So hatching should be drawn 45 degree. So here one correction. Try to make this hatching 45 degree. So if you make any mistake also you will be losing only one or two marks. Uh, but try to do hatching 45 degree and equal spacing. Okay. So whatever we uh, whatever diagram we got. This is called a true shape of the section. This is the sectional top view. So <coughs> that's all. And uh, mark the angle. So uh, this is the cutting plane right. So if you measure the cutting plane angle means you will be getting 23 degree. So in question they have asked. Find the inclination of the cutting plane angle with respect to HP means you have to measure and write 23 degree. So dimension, you know, I have explained clearly. Height of the text is 10 mm. Section of square permit. Height of the text should be 10 mm and it should be written with your capital letter. And below two lines, all dimensions are in mm. Scale only is 2 1. Height of the text is 5 mm. You have to write in two lines. It should be written as I wrote here, uh, neat and legible. And you have to use a pro symbol for writing your question number. And uh, all these uh, all these things, wordings, uh, numbering and all should be done with your HP pencil. Border is very important. 20 mm from left, 10 from top. 10 from right, 10 from bottom. So you have to draw the border so that you can present the diagram very neatly. So in case if you have any doubts in drawing the diagram means you can type in the comment section. If you feel this video is useful means kindly share the video to all first year students so that it will be very much helpful for them during their preparation and we will be uploading all engineering graphics video we also have other playlists to kindly go through all the playlists so whichever is beneficial or useful for you kindly make use of it and do subscribe our channel mechanical motivator and stay tuned with our channel so we will be bringing all types of videos to your doorstep not only for right now till you complete your engineering it will be a great help for you so kindly share the video and support us thanks for watching this video have a great day